Hey guys. It's so awesome to be here. Um, so to start with, um, for folks that don't know uh, Jump Trading, Jump is uh, a firm that has its roots in the pits at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange over 20 years ago. And uh, today is one of the largest quantitative trading firms in the world. Um, and you know, before I go into answering the question of what a quant trading firm is doing building in blockchain, I think it's worth spending a couple minutes on what a quant trading firm is and what we do. Um, so at the highest level, I think a simple metal model is that quant trading firms are solving problems in predictive modeling and high performance computing to find opportunities in the markets, right? So the problem starts with ingesting a fire hose of market data from venues across the globe and creating really high fidelity time series archives. Um, you know, the next step from there is to build uh, machine learning models of various complexities by fitting them over big clusters to create predictive models or you know, what we colloquially call alpha, right? Um, at that stage, all these predictive models can then get deployed to strategies on tens of thousands of hosts across the globe to then respond to opportunities in a very rapid fashion and capitalize on opportunities that arise. And so we're using you know, all kinds of wireless, wired, and radio networks to move information around the globe as rapidly as possible, reading that information off the network card as fast as we can, or sometimes into, pretty often into FPGAs or custom hardware, and then evaluating the model as rapidly as possible to be the first in line to get ahead of the market opportunity. And if a lot of these problems sound very similar to the stuff that the guys at Solana are trying to solve at, as a globally distributed high performance computer, um, you know, we, we thought so too. So you know, Jump's been active in crypto markets for over six years now. And the initial effort was just a natural extension of our trading business in a quirkier market. Um, but over the last six years, you know, by virtue of being one of the only big firms that was kind of in early on that side, we had the opportunity to work with a lot of exciting projects early on on just trading and liquidity related problems. And through the course of that, uh, you know, especially in the depths of the bear, uh, when you know the markets weren't particularly as exciting, um, what we learned is you know we had a lot more to offer to these projects than just just trading and just liquidity. So we kind of had a summit a couple of years ago where we decided that the the only way to actually realize the bet that we made in this space by coming in early and 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 and, and position ourselves to do well in crypto for the next two decades was to actually build alongside the folks that we're that we're working with. Um, and w once that that's once that kind of clicked, it's been it's been very dramatic for us. So, you know. Today, you'll see Jump, that's traditionally been a very quiet organization that kind of puts its heads down and does work, active on the governance forum, contributing to like, you know, the open source code basis, being a part of the discussion. And that's really what uh, the whole the Jump, Jump crypto effort is about. And a great illustration of that, uh, and I think also a very strong illustration of the new models that blockchains and you know, the whole crypto space unlocks is the PIT project. Um, so PIT is... A, very high speed Oracle network that's bringing fast real time financial data from a wide variety of the true sources of this data straight to the chain. At that point, this data is aggregated and processed into one robust output and can then be used as a pricing source for all kinds of like crypto applications. The contributors to these, to the contributing sources to PITS today are regulated US equity exchanges, are Jump and all its competitors that comprise of the lion's share of trading volume across most traditional asset classes. It's a number of very crypto native firms like FTX and 0x and, and, and Genesis, and they're all contributing data to one single platform. And it's all unlocked by this ability to create trust between mutually distrusting people, right? Jump and all its Competitors are now contributing prices to this one source, 
and all playing by the same rules that are just codified by the contract, regardless of who the contract was written by or deployed by. And it's unlocked a positive sum game where only zero sum games existed before. And that's, and that's, and that's really, really powerful. Because we all get to export trust to Solana. And the, the blockchain gets to serve the function of trust. So, you know, as we've gone through the process of helping a lot of major financial institutions, getting, you know, helping them get debt built into crypto, into holding keys, into sending transactions to peer to peer networks, we also noticed, um, you know, improvements that we could make in infrastructure and tooling to help give these organizations more AWS like experiences. And so, you know, we, we recently acquired a blockchain company called Certus One. You know, they've been one of the leading Solana and Cosmos validators uh, for the last couple of years since the genesis of uh, the chain. And, you know, with their help, we're also helping think about how we can improve robust tooling and infrastructure. So Certus was also working on the wormhole, which is the interoperability bridge between a lot of heterogeneous high value chains, including Solana. And it, it now, you know, it's been generalized, it's launched as a simple message passing bridge. Uh, and, you know, that's the current NFT module that brought a punk over to Solana and it brought apes over to Ethereum. And it's kind of like a cultural cross pollination that's been possible because of this new, this new piece of tooling that exists. And, you know, if, if, if we're being honest, like two years ago, if you said that we would be involved at, as jump trading in building a bridge to move NFTs around chains, you know, it would have seemed significantly out of reach. But, you know, today it's what we wake up thinking about every day. Uh, you know, the, the jump crypto team has grown to over 100 people. Uh, and we only feel resource constrained given the opportunity set that we see in the space. Over the last year, we've pulled in entire successful trading teams within the firm, and a large number of them are now working on actually writing Solana code every day. Um, the new set of hires that came in that our Calend team spent the last couple of years recruiting, in addition to training up on machine learning in C++, uh, were in a two-week Solana boot camp as part of their training program. And uh, it's, it's, it's kind of incredible to see because no, now all they want to work on is crypto and uh, you're, you're going to see some really fun stuff that they're coming out with through the course of this week. And the, the only way we're going to be able to actually grow this talent is to get people from outside of crypto to come in. And, you know, that's something that like me and the team at Jump Crypto are very, very committed and dedicated on doing. So I'll, 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 just, I'll just leave by saying, you know, for all the folks that have kind of, you know, been watching from the sidelines. Uh, the water is warm here. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a fairly friendly and accessible environment. And, you know, we're always willing and ready to be a resource. Uh, the whole crypto community, you know, feels very open and very welcoming. You know, S S the Solana folks made us feel, you know, super welcome to come and build on this platform. And we want to, you know, serve the same function for a lot more. So please feel free to reach out. Thanks, guys.